Hello, my brothers. As I was saying in the first part about depression and anxiety, God doesn't want you to be anxious about anything. God wants you to worship only Him. Now, if you're always thinking about the future, about especially the bad things from your future, that means that you are spending less and less time worshiping God, praying to God. The Bible is a manual, a code of conduct if you will, for men. There you will find you have no reason whatsoever to be anxious. <laughs> Fuck me, take away my house, my car, my health, whatever. I know this life, this physical life is just a test. It's a big fucking test. Everybody is watching you. How, how are you gonna react so why do you have to be anxious i have friends who recently checked me out and um, asked me about this bullshit about uh, the lockdowns the viruses the conspiracies Yes, I was involved in them years ago, years ago, and I worried myself to death. I said, this world is going to hell, so what am I supposed to do? But I was wrong. I was wrong because I didn't put my faith in the Most High, the Creator, and He wants us to be at all times at ease in him check out psalm 23 there is you can extract from it some wise words to protect you from depression and anxiety check out psalm 23 okay so I hope you drilled it in in your thick skulls. God doesn't want you to be depressed. God doesn't want you to be anxious. God only wants you to obey Him. Not your environment. Not your circumstances. Nobody. Not man, not woman. Only Him. That's the most important thing to have a, re a relationship with Him. And if you ask God wisdom, check this out. If you ask God wisdom, He will give you everything and anything on top of wisdom, even peace of mind. So, I hope you search the Bible today. I hope you extract some lessons from it and I hope you're gonna be at ease. Be safe, be strong, see you.